Um, so as I say, you, you're all doing quite diverse roles across different segments of the space sector and also in different phases of your career journeys. And I think what I'd like to do is kind of go back to the beginning and think about how you get into space in the first place. So I'm going to start with Emma because, you, as you've been saying, you and a fellow student started the Aerospace for All initiative because of issues that you identified with getting that first foot on the space career ladder you know what is a4a aerospace for all, all about and you know, how did you manage to get that off the ground and, and what, are, what are you trying to accomplish so a credit to jamie rob who was kind of my partner in this he set it up initially um and it's essentially a site that was aiming to make space more accessible personally so less about sort of applying making work experience opportunities available more about linking up people so they have mentors in the industry because i realized i was getting so much out of talking to people that there have got to be other other people who wanted that too so it was just trying to encourage students to come to the site and then talk to us and we could put them in contact with the next person and then they could pass on to the next person and the next person and the next person so basically teaching networking um that was the aim and and that you know when when i think when all of us start thinking about working in space i think it's it's not until you're actually in the industry that you realize just what a human what a personal industry it is and it is all about those connections that you make so it's really wonderful that you're helping to bring that capability and that knowledge and and, and understanding to people before they even you know really get into the space industry 